it, the next thing you know, the turbulence is just unbelievable. With any good near miss experience, it always starts out with an accident chain. And it actually started out when I locked my keys in my car over at David Wayne Hooks Airport in Tomball, Texas. I locked my keys in my car right before going on an angel flight. And the mission was to take a uh, patient from Houston to Georgetown and then fly back that same evening. And then by the time we took off, we were about hour, two hours delayed. So we made it out to Georgetown safely, but there was a front coming through. It was bringing a line of thunderstorms. And so I was uh, flying a G1000 equipped Cessna 182. I was a fairly new instrument pilot. I had just gotten my instrument rating. And by the time we got to Georgetown, we were starving. So we had to go out to dinner. So that took forever. We decided to go to Denny's because we thought it would be fast. But, you know, we know how a Denny's is. So we got a little bit more delayed. And by the time we got back to the FBO, they were about to close. And they were actually putting the plane in the hangar. And that should have been a sign, OK, maybe we should spend the night. But you know, we looked at the weather and it was still a little bit far out. The front had kind of passed through, but we found a hole we could get through, thought it was a good idea. So we asked them to move the plane back out of the hangar and took off. And I was looking at the, the NEXRAD radar display on the G1000, and this was before this technology was really prevalent. And so people had been using it, but the NTSB hadn't even come out with the article yet about the delays with NEXRAD. So we're using this NEXRAD to navigate through the cells, and we found what we thought was a hole. And when we started going through it, the next thing you know, the turbulence was just unbelievable. And at that point, we knew that we had probably likely penetrated some type of convective activity in that area. And so the lesson learned from this was, as a new instrument pilot, was that any type of radar display that you have that runs off a NEXRAD, whether or not it's an iPad with ADS-B, maybe you have ForeFlight with a radar overlay, or even a G1000 with a XM weather radar overlay, that it's going to be delayed and that I should have looked better at the weather. And I actually talked about this in one of my presentations where we talk about just because it's legal doesn't mean it's smart. And so in this scenario, there's really no regulation against trying to thread your way through thunderstorms. Might be legal, but it's definitely not smart. And so that was a lesson learned. Luckily, there was no damage to the aircraft. Nobody got hurt in the entire ordeal, but definitely something that I would never do again.